Smash Bros for Wii U and 3DS are both new titles to the Smash Bros series, and with each game comes new characters to pit up against each other. With the ones released now, I'll show you my favorites in this top 10. And don't forget, this is my top 10, so if you don't like it, there's the door. You can leave. Bye. I'm putting this out here right now. Robin's a character I really don't know. I've never played Fire Emblem Awakening, or any Fire Emblem game for that matter, but seeing Robin in that trailer made up for it for not being Shulk who was announced. Robin doesn't seem to play exactly like the Fire Emblem characters, and he really stands as a neat character to experiment with. Between the lightning tones and the sword, Robin could be a really great character to experiment with, but not exactly to play mainly as. You know, Pac-Man was a character I was dreading. If you look in the comment section on my live reactions video at Smash Direct, you'll see that I was very opposed to the idea of Pac-Man. I really hoped that it wouldn't be the ugly new design of Pac-Man, but Sakurai san pulled through for everyone and used the Pac-Man world design that most people enjoy. So I guess that's cool. But Pac-Man's attacks seem really basic. He, but he does feature several Namco callbacks, which make him good for fan nostalgia. However, I don't care about Pac-Man. Okay, there's nothing much I can really say about Wii Fit Trainer, honestly. Like, even this is unscripted, too. So, yeah, Wii Fit Trainer really is a odd choice that no one expected, really. But it seemed to be make up for it, because she's sort of strong, I guess? The sun salutation and all that. Uh, but she's just a character. Whatever. The Mii Fighters are an interesting batch of characters, or character? I, I don't know. Many people thought that the Mii's were kind of going to be like, shoveled in, you know, just plain character doesn't do anything special. But they kind of look like they can hold their own in battle. There's the Gunner Mii, Fighter Mii, and Sword Mii. And they all have customizable costumes and movesets. You never really know what to expect with these Mii's, and they kind of seem fun to play as. Rosalina and Luma, the star of the bottom 5. I enjoy Rosalina and Luma, they are a fun pair to play with as Luma can move off by itself and kind of attack on its own, not exactly on its own, but you know, in sync with Rosalina. And if uh, Luma gets hit off, you can just summon another one and it's really cool. And Rosalina's moves that really take me back to the days of Super Mario Galaxy, although the first time I saw Rosalina's trailer, I took false hope into thinking there would be a Kirby Air Ride sequel, make it happen Sakurai, because, yeah. And yes, his scarf is a tongue. Greninja, the frog ninja from Generation 6's Pokemon X and Y makes his debut and my god, he is not playing around. Anyone who mains this guy means serious business. I mean, he, he was good in Pokemon, playing competitive battles. His speed and attack power somehow translated over to creating a nightmare that is Greninja. He, he, he's slippery. He's quick. He can really keep you on your toes. Especially with that water shuriken. That will, they can keep you off the edge, it will push you off the edge. You gotta you gotta watch out for Greninja. He's fast, especially with that down kick. Just go straight down. I would put him up high on the list, but number four just slightly takes that place. So, Villager from Animal Crossing. And uh Smash Bros did something to his character in that trailer. And now Villager seems to be this, uh, demonic character. But other than that, though, Villager's pretty fun to play as. You can, uh, there's a gyroid, I think? Is it the gyroid? Yeah, the gyroid. You could gyroid rocket. You could, uh, fly away with it to the side and whatnot. Uh, there's the, uh, the Balloon Boy thing, which is, I thought was kind of nice. They made reference to the Balloon Fight game. There's, you can plant a tree. They can knock it down on someone. You can drop a bowling ball on someone that axe. And then there's the uh, final smash where you build a house on top of someone and then blow it up. Villager, watch your soul. The super fighting robot who's fighting to save the world is here to smash and I'm really excited to see Mega Man in this game. I'm not even a Mega Man fan. It was just really so cool. Just really cool that Mega Man's moveset was pulled from the classic games. 
lot of detail, man. Like, it really shows how much detail that Sakura Red puts into the game. It's... Uh, I'm gushing. But it's also nice to see, like, like, gaming icons, you know? Like, Mario, Danky King, Sonic, Pac-Man, and Mega Man are all in one game, duking it out. She's the greatest, and I love it. The Goddess of Light herself joins the brawl to melee against everyone with her bare hands. The reason I put Palutena so high on the list is how hilarious her dialogue is during a trailer. It's, it's really funny. You just check it out. It retains some of the fourth wall breaking humor that I'm used to in Kid Icarus Uprising. Seriously, if you haven't heard any of the dialogue or play the game, go look it up right now. It's really funny. You need to go right now. So I'm so glad to see Palutena in this game with her creepy lack of facial expressions. The champion of the ring punches in and man, Little Mac, if you talk for Ninja was good, Little Mac is amazing. I uh, recently, uh, I may have talked about this earlier, but I played in the Best Buy Smash Fest thing and uh, my friend Jarja Fiend, I'll link you to his channel, he, uh, he played as Little Mac and he won. Because Little Mac is extremely good, and he's just perfect for Smash Bros. And, I, and this is the guy that I'm gonna main with, because either Little Mac or Pit, but mostly Little Mac. Because Little Mac is fast, and he hits hard, and he's amazing. You just keep him on the ground. The only bad thing about him is that he's not on air. But that's about it. Little Mac is amazing. All right, so welcome to the end of the video. I've never actually done these before, but um. Yeah, if you uh, like this top 10, maybe in the comments you suggest maybe another top 10 or something. Or maybe even like the video if you kind of want me to make another top 10, you know? But uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time. This was actually, this took me a really long time to make. This is like, uh, I started this on my birthday yesterday, and then it took me like four hours, five, I don't know, that's about it.